everyone. Um, my name is Yushi Li. Um, and yes, I do like sushi, um, <laughs> but I'm not Japanese. Uh, so basically, I'm a Chinese woman who takes photographs of naked Western men in the UK. <laughs> um, and uh, currently, I'm doing uh, my PhD in Arts and Humanities at Royal College of Art. And I mainly work in photography. And during my studies at the RCA, I have developed a strong interest in the question of the gaze in relation to gender, desire, and sexuality. And today I'm going to share with you um, about the two main projects I did recently. So uh, in the project My Tinder Boys, I photograph different men I met through Tinder eating naked in their own kitchens. <clears throat> um, at the starting point of this project, I was inspired by these very cliched, sexy photos of uh, naked women and food. And um, I also um, went for dinner with my Tinder date sometimes. So I thought, why, why not having some special and more meaningful dates? And so basically, I messaged more than 300 men on Tinder. Most of them just ignored me. Some of them replied, but wanted something else. And uh, only 15 of them said yes in the end. I guess it's just like how it works for some fuckboys on Tinder. <laughs> and I... I um, I took some screenshots of the conversations so we can have a look at how these men responded to my artistic proposal. <laughs> uh, that depends. Is there a chance of sex in return? Can I choose to eat you in the photo shoot? <laughs> as long as the photographer is naked as well, makes me more comfortable. Asking too much? Um, you're not really selling it. And this, this is my favorite one, very direct, and he copy, copied my first line. Just so you know, I'm here for casual sex, so yes, if I can fuck you. <laughs> and during these unusual days, I was both the violator who tried to invade their private space, and also the desired object that participated in their vulnerability. It can be seen that there is certain precariousness in the way these men stage themselves for my photographs, which reveals a man's uncertainty in knowing how to be erotic for the camera. For quite a long period of time, um, women have always been something pretty, something to be looked at. Um, as John Berger says, men act women a pair. I'm quite tired of seeing naked women everywhere, and everybody is talking about how beautiful female bodies are. I mean, I agree with that 100%, but I think male bodies are equally beautiful. Like, I mean, don't you think he has a nice bum? <laughs> um, so, and as a heterosexual female photographer, I'm attracted to male bodies. And more importantly, um, I want to use my work to explore ways for women to express our sexual desire. And in order to expand my investigation of this power relationship inherent in the gaze, I started the project Your Reservation is Confirmed. This is the line you receive when you book an Airbnb. So in this project, I, book, I booked the ideal home via Airbnb, um, booked the ideal man through a live modeling website to construct my ideal images. Um, so I work um, in analog, and this is one of the um, Polaroid tests I did for the shooting. And these are um, handprints made in the darkroom. 
Um, I think I quite like the contrast between the digital screen and the, these analog prints. Because um, like um, during these photo shoots, I always need to work with the uncertainties and limitations given by the space and the man I book through the internet. You know, sometimes the room is um, too small, the man is not as handsome as the image online. <laughs> so uh, there's always a gap between um, the, re uh, the, the ideal, um, what I want, and the real, what I actually get. So by putting myself in the picture, I try to create a more dynamic relationship between the looked at object the viewer and the third party who is looking at the viewer. Um, for me, um, uh, the, the woman in the picture is not really myself, but more like a female figure um, who functions in the same way as the man, the table, and the teacup. So in a way, we are all just props for the, for the image I want to create. Um, I think what attracts me the most is not really the body, but um, the fantasy of being in control. Um, and uh, uh, by the way, this guy it was peeing in the picture. I made two cups of tea for him, and uh, he managed to pee for me twice, which was... <laughs> A really good job, <laughs> but it didn't. It didn't smell very nice. But you know, um, we did it for art. <laughs> so, so in a way, um, their nakedness is more than a representation of eroticism, um, and also an, an indicator of my attempt to have the power over them. Um, but um, the power is always shifting between me and the man and the viewer of the image. I think it's, it's a bit like a game for me and I quite enjoy doing it. Um, so by um, creating these intimate encounters with different male strangers and bringing the illu illusions of desired life out of the digital screen, I try to use my work to um, play with the power relationship inherent in the gaze and uh, examine established ways of staging eroticism and intimacy. So thank you very much.